Hi, welcome back to Dawn Digs In. Thanks for joining us if you're new. Uh, we like to talk about different things that uh, are current in the world and going on and uh, on the health side and what's happening in the workout world as well as in diets and fads. And today we're going to talk about some diet fads. We're going to start with the keto diet. Uh, it's a diet that uh, near and dear to me. I really enjoyed eating keto. I did keto for about a year and a half and thoroughly enjoyed it, found it very easy to follow. I kept my keto very simple. Okay, keto is no sugar, no carbs. Basically, that is keto. If you can do no sugar, no carbs, you can do it. It is restrictive, but you just have to get over it. So like any diet, I always think that you have to have a mindset before you start it. So you have to go into this knowing that it's going to be difficult, that you're going to struggle, that there's going to be restrictions, and that you're ready to take on that challenge. Because every diet that you're gonna try and every one we're gonna talk about is going to require something from you, whether um, it's giving up something or uh, doing something. But if you're not prepared to do the work for any of these diets, then don't. Because they are gonna be work, you are gonna see results. Diets do work. It's the people that don't do the work. But diets can work. If you are following a program, how you're being told to follow it, and unless you have some medical reason, they really do work. But usually we just get bored with them. We fall off the wagon, we have a cheat day, oh my gosh, it's ruined, and we just forget about it. Well, keto is one that is not very kind for, to us when we fall off the wagon. We have to basically start all over again to get back into ketosis, which for me usually takes about 48 hours. And that means, you know, lots of water and really keeping my diet really clean, whole foods, lots of vegetables. Um, I would have uh, bacon and eggs for breakfast. I would have a, some maybe salami roll-ups, some cheese, some almonds, maybe some nut butter uh, for lunch. And uh, I really am not a big on snacks because I found the snacks just lead to different things because I want that sweet and salty, which I can't have. So it was easier for me just to have my have my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. You can certainly snack as many vegetables as you want all day long if that's something that you can do. It's not something I chose to do. My dinners I kept pretty much the same all the time. It was always meat, a vegetable, and a salad. Uh, usually we would have chicken shish kebabs or beef or pork, a steak one night a week, chicken wings one night a week. So it was always the same. You know, my husband would go shopping and it was the same things every day. And I like that. I don't have to think about it. I knew that Monday was chicken kebabs. I knew that Tuesday was beef kebabs. I knew Wednesday was steak. I knew Thursday was, and so on and so on. Um, it wasn't a problem for him either. He didn't mind eating the same things. It was simple. We'd throw them on the barbecue. I'd make a salad. Boom, boom. We're done dinner. And that's it. And on to the next day. And I did that for almost a year with no complaints. Neither of us are very... Uh, I don't want to say not adventurous in our eating, but we more think of food as nutrition than an experience. So we really found it easy to just, or for me, my husband, not so much, he wasn't on the diet, but um, for me, it, it's meals are not an experience. I do have an experience meal once in a while. We'll go out to the keg or we go and have a nice dinner with friends or you do something or or it's a pizza night or whatever. But I don't have them on a regular basis and I didn't do them while I was doing keto just because it was too difficult to get back in if you got out. So it was easier to make sure you didn't get out. The keto diet has so many positive things. Um, your, your, your body is just an amazing machine. It can run on these two systems, glucose and ketones. Both are good. Both have benefits. Ketones are a system that our body ran, ran on way back in the caveman times when there was no food around, uh, you know, and they were just eating meat. They didn't have wheat and breads and all that. So their body lived on ketones because it didn't have the carbohydrates. Um, so it's a system that's always been with us since the beginning of time. It's not wrong when people go, oh, you can't do keto, it's bad for you. It's not bad for you. You just have to make sure that you get your nutrients in through your vegetables and vitamins and other ways. But it was an excellent diet. I found it very easy to follow. I did not um, use a glucose meter uh, or a keto mojo. The only thing I used was the urine strips that you pee on. And I found them totally helpful because with the strips, you were either in ketosis or you were not. So if there's a color on it, you're in. If there's not a color on it, you're not. I didn't care what the level was because it didn't matter. It's a yes or a no. 
So, uh, you know, the only thing the color really tells you is if you have too many ketones, then you're peeing them out and you don't really want that to happen. So as long as there's color, that's good. You're, you're in the right mode and you're using your, uh, your ketones properly and you're not wasting them because your body doesn't need them. So keto was a, an excellent diet. Um, I, I found that uh, I didn't buy too many things. The only things that I bought was a sugar substitute. I used the Lancata monk fruit. This is amazing. You could also buy Swerve. Uh, both of them are great. This I find has absolutely no taste difference to me than sugar. I'm a baker, I bake with it. Um, my husband uses it on his uh, cereal or in his coffee now. I use it for everything. You can pick that up at uh, Amazon, Winners, uh, lots of places. Um, I get it online for somewhere else, Nutra, Canada. Or, um, but excellent product. Coconut oil was another one. Fat bombs. Fat bombs were saving grace on this diet. Very, very easy to make. It's a cup of your um, your coconut oil. It's um, cocoa powder. It's some sweetener. I would just put, stick this in a blender or in my magic bullet and turn it into an icing sugar if I didn't have any on hand. And uh, a little bit of vanilla. Mix that up. Throw it on a sheet. I've got a video in how to make it. Put them in the freezer. Let them melt in your mouth. They're absolutely heaven. Uh, keto chai tea, another absolutely amazing one. I'm sure you've heard of Bulletproof Coffee. Bulletproof Coffee... Same thing, I just did it with chai tea because I don't drink coffee. So very simple, made my tea, uh, put in my tablespoon of butter, my tablespoon of cream, a little bit of MCT oil, because this stuff will save you because keto does tend to make you constipated uh, because there's not a lot of, I don't know. I don't know why keto makes you constipated, but it does. But this really helps. Start low, I started a teaspoon, worked my way up to a tablespoon, um, and I would have it in the morning in my, uh, in my chai tea latte. So uh, $19 for a bottle of this. I found that very affordable. And that was it. Don't buy any keto snacks. Keto snacks are bunk. Seriously. You don't need them. They taste like crap. I've never had one that honestly tasted good. The peanut butter cups taste like fake chocolate, fake everything. Um, I'd rather have a scoop of peanut butter out of the jar than eat that. Uh, the recipe I have for the keto fat bombs is the best thing I ever found. Like it was just absolutely amazing. Um, there's also a lot of cookies you can make. You can get the Lily's, uh, no sugar chocolate chips. These taste really good. And you can make a chocolate chip cookie using almond flour and butter and really simple. So there are uh, mug cakes. You can make a mug cake. It's just an egg and some cocoa and some almond flour and some vanilla and some butter, it, really simple. Throw some whipped cream on top because you can have whipped cream. So the one thing that I found is where people find keto restrictive in some ways, it's really open on other ways. Like you can have whipped cream. Um, Sugar-free jello was a big dessert. We had that all the time. And I could make up some whipped cream, throw some of that sweetener in it, and it was just heaven. Uh, you can make keto ice cream in a mason jar, really simple. So there's lots of good keto recipes that you can experiment with. I did, I kept it as absolutely simple as I possibly could because Simple works for me. But if you want to, like I said, try the recipe books. There's lots of online recipes. There's lots of online uh, cooks, the Keto Life, um, tons. So if that's something that you're really interested in, I would definitely say to try, um, try doing the no sugar, no carbs for two weeks. See how you go. And if you like it, then continue on and uh, try the keto and see how well you do on it. But I really found the keto amazing as far as how you felt. I felt good within days. As soon as my body finally kicked out of its fat mode and started into ketosis, that's when uh, I just, it was like, they call it a whoosh. Um, but no more need be said, right? They call it a whoosh and you just kind of feel things kind of just drain right out. And, uh, you know, immediately your stomach is flatter. You don't feel as puffy. You're not bloated. Bloat was, bloat was huge. You are not bloated. Um, it was a great, I can't say enough about it. Keto to me was a great diet. I would give it two thumbs up. I would tell anybody to try it uh, at least once and, and see where you go. Um, I transitioned from keto into intermittent fasting after, uh, I'm going to say six months 
maybe not, maybe even less than that, I started the intermittent fasting only because it was easy and I was sick of eggs. So I would just not eat breakfast and I just kind of started the fasting without really realizing what I was doing. So our next topic is going to be on intermittent fasting. So uh, we will talk about that on our next visit. So until then, I hope that you um, look into the keto diet if that's something that you're interested in. And I hope you got some value out of this and some information that you may not have had that you didn't have to, uh, you know, come up with all these different things to eat. You can eat the same thing every day as long as you're okay with eating the same thing every day. That's fine. So uh, give it a try if you want to. If you have any questions, please ask. And like I said, our next talk will be about intermittent fasting. And until then, hope you have a great week and a great workout. And you are totally awesome. And high five.